The Baobab Tree. Africa's iconic tree of life. The majestic Baobab tree is an icon of the African continent and lies at the heart of many traditional African remedies and folklore. The Baobab is a prehistoric species which predates both mankind and the splitting of the continents over 200 million years ago. Native to the African savanna where the climate is extremely dry and arid, it is a symbol of life and positivity in a landscape where little else can thrive. Over time, the Baobab has adapted to its environment. It is a succulent, which means that during the rainy season it absorbs and stores water in its vast trunk, enabling it to produce a nutrient-dense fruit in the dry season when all around is dry and arid. This is how it became known as, the Tree of Life. Baobab trees grow in 32 African countries. They can live for up to 5,000 years, reach up to 30 meters high and up to an enormous 50 meters in circumference. Baobab trees can provide shelter, food and water for animals and humans, which is why many savanna communities have made their homes near Baobab trees. The striking silhouette of a Baobab tree at sunset is a familiar sight to anyone who has spent time in rural Africa, but it is also well known all across the world thanks to its starring roles in Disney's Lion King, it is Rafiki the Monkey's Tree Avatar, the Tree of Souls Madagascar and the famous children's novel The Little Prince. Baobab Fruit while many people know of the baobab tree, not many people know that it has a fruit, and even less know that this fruit is one of the most nutrient-dense foods in the world. In fact, every part of the baobab tree is valuable, the bark can be turned into rope and clothing, the seeds can be used to make cosmetic oils, the leaves are edible, the trunks can store water and the fruit is extraordinarily rich in nutrients and antioxidants. Women in Africa have turned to the baobab fruit as a natural source of health and beauty for centuries. Baobab is the only fruit in the world that dries naturally on its branch. Instead of dropping and spoiling, it stays on the branch and bakes in the sun for six months, transforming its green velvety coating into a hard coconut-like shell. The pulp of the fruit dries out completely. This means the fruit simply needs to be harvested, de-seeded and sieved to produce a delicious pure fruit powder. Unlike many other supplements, Baobab powder does not have to be spray-dried, freeze-dried or transformed in any way. It is 100% pure fruit in its natural form. Incredibly, the fruit has a natural shelf life of 3 years so there are no preservatives or additives whatsoever. Aduna Baobab Powder is one of the health and beauty world's best kept secrets. It is an extremely rich source of vitamin C, almost 50% fiber and has the highest antioxidant content of any whole fruit. The benefits of Baobab include Energy release, reduction of tiredness and fatigue immune function, protection against illnesses, infections and diseases. Digestive health, Baobab is a natural prebiotic, supporting gut health. Healthy, younger looking skin, Baobab produces collagen leading to a glowing complexion and helps fight the signs of aging. As well as its abundant health and beauty benefits, Baobab could also transform millions of lives. How? It's simple. Baobab trees grow in some of the driest, remotest and poorest parts of rural Africa. There is no such thing as a baobab plantation, every tree is community or family owned and wild harvested. An estimated 10 million households can provide baobab from the existing crop, that is so abundant it mainly goes to waste. National Geographic estimate that a global demand for baobab could be worth $1 billion to rural Africa every year. The only problem is that 95% of people have never heard of it. Aduna is on a mission to change this. We have launched a campaign to hashtag make Baobab famous and turn the inspiring possibility of Baobab into a reality. How to take Baobab? Aduna Baobab powder has a delicious sweet and citrusy flavor, a bit like zingy sherbet. It is perfect for sprinkling onto cereal, granola, yogurt or fruit or mixing into smoothies, juices or water. Just let your imagination lead the way. Our Aduna Lemon, Ginger and Baobab Super Tea blends whole pieces of dried Baobab fruit with lemongrass, ginger and hibiscus, all of which are known to enhance energy, vitality and general well-being in the body. The Baobab Tree Africa's iconic, tree of life The majestic Baobab tree is an icon of the African continent and lies at the heart of many traditional African remedies and folklore. The baobab is a prehistoric species which predates both mankind and the splitting of the continents over 200 million years ago. 
Native to the African savanna where the climate is extremely dry and arid, it is a symbol of life and positivity in a landscape where little else can thrive. Over time, the baobab has adapted to its environment. It is a succulent, which means that during the rainy season it absorbs and stores water in its vast trunk, enabling it to produce a nutrient-dense fruit in the dry season when all around is dry and arid. This is how it became known as, the tree of life. They have thick trunks, a crown of branches and flowers that only open at twilight. Technically a succulent, the tree served as the inspiration for Rafiki's home in The Lion King. Scientists recognize eight distinct baobab species, adapted for dry climates and providing food, water and shelter to entire ecosystems. The trees can also figure heavily into the diets and folklore of the people around them. However, theories about their geographic origin was divided among three places, the savannas of sub-Saharan Africa, the Kimberley region of Western Australia and the dry forests of Madagascar. With its bulbous shape and a canopy that resembles an upside-down root system, the baobab tree is an iconic symbol of the African continent. Its origins are also the stuff of legend, literally. Along the Zambezi River, some tribes believed that one day their gods became angry, ripped the baobab from the ground, and tossed it up into the air, resulting in its inverted-like appearance. In another tale, God gifted the baobab to a hyena. However, the hyena felt so repelled by the tree's already unusual exterior, he shoved it to the ground upturned. Whatever way the baobab came to be, it's undoubtedly a remarkable specimen. Baobabs can grow up to 100 feet tall, have a circumference of as much as 165 feet, and live as long as 3,000 years. These solitary trees are also incredibly resilient, thriving in dry, open areas such as the savannas of southern Africa and western Madagascar, and surviving by storing water in their massive trunks. Their thick bark protects them from bushfires, while their massive root systems help slow soil erosion and aid in the recycling of nutrients. Baobabs may depend on pollinators like fruit bats and bush babies to reproduce, but the trees themselves are incredibly regenerative. They can even create new bark when needed, healing wounds that would take other trees down. Then there's the baobab's fruit, a woody round or egg-shaped pod that can grow up to a foot long and hangs from the tree's branches courtesy of a long, thick stalk. Its pulpy interior is loaded with seeds and brimming with nutrients, including tartaric acid, a natural antioxidant, and loads of vitamin C. Native to Sub-Saharan Africa, the Southern Arabian Peninsula, Yemen, Oman, and Australia, baobabs consist of nine species. While the African continent is home to two different kinds, six are endemic to Madagascar, and Australia has one type of baobab. The latter is commonly known as the Bob, among Aussies and thrives in both Western Australia's Kimberley region and the country's Northern Territory. Baobab trees are nicknamed the Tree of Life, and for good reason. Between just the bark and fruit alone, baobabs offer more than 300 vital uses. While elephants quench their thirst on the tree's water-rich interior, they also snack on its produce and then fertilize the local soil through their droppings. Baboons crack open the fruit's hard exterior and fill up on its pulpy seeds, leading to the baobab's other moniker, the monkey bread tree. Marabou storks and red-billed buffalo weavers nest in their branches, and fruit bats and bush babies, as well as lemurs in Madagascar, sip up the nectar from their blossoms, pollinating one flower to the next as it goes. These large white blooms spread their petals at night and flower for no more than 24 hours. They typically spring to life during or after the rainy season. As much as wildlife depends on the baobab tree, and vice versa, so do humans. Not only is the fruit sour brown pulp edible and nutritious, but soak it in water and it becomes a refreshing drink. People who live around baobab trees will roast and grind its fruit seeds to produce a beverage akin to coffee, or boil the tree's leaves and eat them like spinach. Not only are these leaves loaded with potassium and magnesium, but they're often used in traditional medicine for treating ailments such as insect bites and asthma. The tree's bark is the basis for everything from paper and cloth to ropes and baskets. People also used it to make waterproof hats and musical instrument strings. By mixing the flower's pollen with water, you can even create a form of glue. An ancient baobab can support an entire ecosystem, from the bees and stick insects that reside among its branches, to the antelope and warthogs that delight in its fruit. 
In fact, baobabs are considered a keystone species, meaning they play an essential role in local biodiversity. Despite their enormous size and longevity, baobabs are not immune to threats. Here are just some of the challenges they face, as well as some possible solutions. Many scientists believe that climate change is killing Africa's oldest and largest baobab trees, the result of more frequent weather anomalies like floods and lightning storms. Elephants will often damage baobabs during extreme droughts to get to their water supply, sometimes digging into the wood so severely that the tree can simply collapse. WWF's assessment of the vulnerability of African elephants regarding climate change shows that their biggest concern is having enough fresh water. Creating safe wildlife corridors is one way to increase an elephant's source options and relieve pressure on individual baobab trees in the process. Madagascar, which is home to six of the world's nine baobab species, has experienced massive deforestation, losing approximately 235,000 hectares of tree cover from 2010 through 2021. This includes the loss of baobab habitats. WWF's Forest Landscape Restoration FLR, in Africa is an initiative helping to restore forests and forest landscapes across nine African countries, including Madagascar. One action entails working with local communities to develop commercially viable landscape restoration projects, and then connecting these community enterprises with investors and commercial partners so that they can prosper on a larger scale. With their smooth bark, thick, cylindrical trunks, and flat-topped crowns, Grandidier's baobabs are one of Madagascar's most recognizable baobab species. It's also a species that's highly threatened by the conversion of local forests into agricultural land. Loss of forests can lead to extreme soil erosion, and slash and burn farming, as well as overgrazing, inhibit the baobab's proper regeneration. WWF's work in sustainable agriculture includes creating financial incentives, which can help encourage the conservation of biodiversity in places where baobab trees grow. While the baobab itself is iconic, here are a few that are even more beloved than most. This especially large baobab in Zambia's Kafui National Park is known as the tree that eats maidens. According to local legend, Kondanamwali fell in love with four beautiful women, who decided that they all wanted human husbands instead. The tree became jealous, so it opened its trunk and pulled the women inside, where they're said to remain to this day. More than two dozen towering baobabs line an 853-foot dirt stretch in western Madagascar's Morondava. In 2007, it became the country's first natural monument. South Africa's stoutest baobab is located within Limpopo, the country's northernmost province, and is recognizable by its humongous trunk and gnarled branches. Although researchers carbon dated the tree at around 1,200 years old, many residents believe its age is more than twice that. It's home to a breeding colony of mottled spinetails, a type of bird that's most common along the West Africa coast. As you leave the page, don't forget to hit the like bell and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. Thank you for watching.